My name's Matt, welcome back to the shop, and this is a viewer's question, yes it is. Um, this is a viewer's question that was asking, uh, why do we have chokes? Is using the choke the same as just opening the throttle, and why don't we just use opening the throttle to start instead of using a choke? Right, so, uh, in your carb, you just have your carb, just say, we'll go with carbs, and then it goes into a port, like so. And then we'll have a cylinder, Ugh. piston, this is all on the wonk, it's end of the day, you have to forgive me. <laughs> so what happens is, is that when everything's cold, so your engine is cold, your cylinder walls, your piston, your valves, um, even if you've got a two stroke, uh, your manifold, your or it's your boot, your rubber boot and your carb itself, these are all cold, it's a cold morning, something like that. Um, this is all to do with uh, fuel ratios and how rich and lean you are. So what happens is, is when it's cold, is that uh, we want 14.7 to 1. That's basically your stoichiometric ratio, and that's for ideal combustion. We never get that perfect. It's just, yeah, not especially when you go higher up end. But blah. Anyway. This is kind of what we want, and this means that we have the right amount of fuel and the right amount of air to oxidise it to have complete combustion. This is almost the most efficient way to do it when we're talking about um, combustion efficiency, not uh, mileage. We'll get to that later. Um, but basically what happens is, is that um, this, this air fuel mixture rushes in, let's just say it's at 14.7 to 1. Sweet, perfect, your carbs worked it out, it's all good. And then it enters your engine, and then what happens is, is the, these molecules and all that, so your vaporised fuel, you've got to remember it's a vapour, or we want it to be a vapour, bounces in, and as soon as it touches all these components, basically what happens is, just like breathing on a mirror, the fuel condenses. Now, it condenses into its liquid state, which means that it's not good for combustion, and what happens is, is this leans out your mixture. So instead of being 14.7 to 1, it's something like 20 to 1 which basically means there is less fuel in suspension and there is too much air. So in this scenario, we've got air is too much and fuel up. Fuel is basically down, we haven't got enough fuel. And basically when uh, ignition does occur, it occurs, it's very lazy, it's, <coughs> it doesn't release enough heat, doesn't release, uh, create enough pressure, doesn't push the piston down enough to have a self-sustaining idle basically the engine just can't happily tick over and sit there so what we do is is we stick a choke in now there's loads of different ways you can choke stuff out um, you can also use pilot jets and all the rest of it will get to all that fuel enrichment uh, circuits and stuff like that but for the time being we'll just use kind of like a butterfly choke and basically what you're doing is you're cutting the air because we have too much air we have too much air when this fuel condenses out of the cylinder we just have too much so basically what we do is we want to up the fuel uh, fucking fuel right and wrong we want to up the fuel or down the air and the best way to do it is just to reduce the air so that's what a choke does choking um, is exactly the same as choking a hooker or something like that you're basically sticking your hands around its throat and just depriving it of oxygen <laughs> Uh, same with your engine, you're basically choking it out, you're just um, causing a restriction so not as much air can flow through, um, so your air will drop, and then the pilot circuits and all the enrichment circuits just make sure that there is enough fuel. Um, so basically what you're doing is instead you're sticking in something like 10 to 1, then some of that fuel condenses on the cylinder walls, so you are losing fuel, and this basically increases to hopefully around about 14 to 1, which is what you require. Um, you know, so basically you're uh, overdoing it with the fuel by restricting the air. You restrict the air, then there is more fuel to air as a ratio, and then your engine should hopefully start. As soon as it actually gets up, and that's why it kicks up and speeds up, and then as soon as you, if you don't take your choke off, and you start riding when you start putting load on the engine then basically because your engine is now warm enough it basically um, floods it there is too much fuel and then you have to remove your choke to allow the air to get in there so you can get back to this golden number or very close to it when you open your throttle why is that different 
is because when you open your throttle, you're actually allowing more air to get in. So you're leaning it out even further. You know, you're, you get to like 30 to one or something, and that's why it doesn't help. Um, you might say, well, I put my choke on and it revs up a bit higher. Then I rev it. Well, yeah, because you just, you've now changed the initial condition and now you're giving it even more fuel and just a bit more air when you sit there and rev it. Just means the engine gets hotter quicker, but it also means that because your oil system hasn't caught up yet, that you're actually putting more load. Uh, not load, but you're basically your engine is going through more wear because um, the oil isn't up to temperature. Uh, your oil pressure will be lower. Even if you're if you've got a gauge and it says that it's not, it actually is because it's at the gallery and at the actual bearings that matter, not what your, your pressure gauge says. Um, but anyway, you know, so basically that's why what a choke does, it's just like choking a hooker that you ain't going to pay $200 for. <laughs> Hope that makes sense. Fucking hell. And I'll see you in a bit.